What's up, nerds? How's it going? I'm Draken, in case you don't know that yet. And if you don't know that yet, I don't know what you're doing here. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a video review of the iJoy Studio Vlogger equipment. Um, this is this is like a more of a, a mobile um, a, a mobile um, vlog, vlogger set. <clears throat> uh, sorry if I'm stuttering. I'm, I'm pretty much making this up as I go. Um, so it does come with the, each individual piece. Uh, hang me one second here to disconnect things so that I can show you each piece and then show you each piece as it goes together. Alright, so first things first is we've got we've got the tripod which because, like I said, this is meant to be a mobile version, converts into a handheld grip. So you'd be like, take, oh, look at me, taking selfies, uh, do, do, do my video. It's, it's, it, as you can see, it's, it's even ridged so that it fits comfortably in your hand. Um, so first, I'm going to, I'm going to like show you the, show off the parts, and then I'm going to uh, review the parts individually because you know as a whole it's a good thing uh, like a good setup individually it's a good setup like that sort of thing all right so the second part is your standard phone grip which screws right into this and it's, it's even got a little tab here that I don't know if you can see it Oh yeah, a little tab there, um, so that you can hold your phone in properly. Um, as well, like there's the standard hold, so that like the phone is sideways like this. However, it's also got a spot on the back, so that you can put phone in sideways. Um, this way, though, doesn't work with the tab. Uh, so, we're gonna just put it together the standard way, which works better too because, you know, generally if you, if you want to like, let's say you're making a YouTube video, uh, you want your phone in a landscape mode, it, it fits, fits better. <clears throat> then, we've got the light. Uh, one thing I actually noticed about the light, on, on top of it going onto here, I can actually mount this on top of my camera, which uh, is also a feature that's available with this. Is that your camera? Like, if you've got a camera like mine, where it's got the uh, it's it's got the screw at the bottom to put it on like a tripod mount or anything, you can mount it on here as well. And be like, "What's up, guys?" Um, the video I recorded with it. So far, I've done one video. Uh, I didn't use the light because it's bright out. It's a little less bright now, but the light's not making much of a... Oh, I guess it is making a bit of a difference. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I plan to use it at uh, like nighttime, though, so then I'll really be able to see the difference. And then we've got the microphone. Uh, cool thing about that is you can put the microphone up at the top, or the light has two spots on the side, so you can also pop it on there, pop it on the side. Let's say you're working with a smaller area. All right, so those are the parts of the camera, or of the, the, the setup. So now, so now we're gonna talk about the individual parts, okay? Like, like individually. So, First, we'll talk about the tripod. So like I said, the tripod does convert into a nice handheld grip uh, with like the ridges to make it comfortable in your hand either way you're holding it. Um, it's got an adjustable stand for where you put your camera, which is cool. I mean, it makes it more compact for storage, plus you can put it at different angles. Uh, which are activated by these buttons on the side. Uh, like I said, it's got the little tab there for holding the phone. 
and, uh, oh, I can't look at my camera right now because I'm using it. Uh, I think that might actually go into the camera as well. And, instead of just spinning around on, you can screw everything on directly. Uh, overall, I, I like what I've seen so far. Oh, it's also got little rubber stops at the bottom, so prevent it from sliding, plus, you know, a little bit of impact, like, like, let's say you got on a table, you hit the table, you got a little bit of impact uh, da dampening. So overall, I say the, the stand piece, I'll give four out of five eggs. For those of you who don't know, with my reviews, I do a five egg system instead of like five stars or one to ten or anything like that. Why? Because Draken. Dragon. So that's that part. Uh, plus, like I had mentioned, you, uh, you don't need to like use the phone holder on there. You can put like like my camera would screw on there too. So the next piece, the phone grip. All right. So, like I said, I've used this once. So far, I I, I found it's it's a good piece. Um, like I had said uh, before, you can either mount it upright like this, so that you're in landscape mode, or you can put it on the back like this, where you can flip it and be portrait mode. Uh, that should fit most phones, as far as I know. Um, I know there's some really big ones, but let's let's face it, if you need to walk around with like a tablet on your ear, you got problems with the this. Um, the grip parts are grooved so that the phone sits inside, which, you know, came in handy. And it's got a nice soft back, so it's, it's not harming your screen. Um, honestly, I'd give this uh, another 4 out of 5. The uh, reason I didn't give it a 5, I did give it 5 eggs is This, th this part here seems pretty flimsy, so I, I'm, obviously I'm not going to try and break it, but I don't know how well it'll hold up. Alright, so that is the phone attachment. Next, next, <clears throat> next, we've got the light. Alright, so first things first, um... So the light takes two AA batteries, which is good because it means, again, since it's a, a mobile recording uh, device, you don't have to worry about plugging it in or anything. Um, I wouldn't mind it, like, it, like if it was like just a rechargeable, plug it into the wall sort of thing. Um, so that way you're not spending a lot on batteries. Which, in this day and age, a lot, m m most things are rechargeable. Like the cameras are rechargeable, phones are rechargeable, the microphone that I can't find for the camera is rechargeable, sort of thing. Um, but overall, that's that's not hurting it too much. Um, so turning it on, I thought it was broken when I first put the batteries in, and then I thought maybe the batteries were the problem, but. Um, you need to hold the power button for a couple of seconds for the light to turn on. Uh, as you can see, it's actually a pretty pretty bright light, uh, which has, what is it, 10 different brightness modes. So there's the brightest, which actually is pretty bright, all things considering. And then we go, that's the brighter, that, that's making it brighter again. There we go, all the way to the bottom, which is like, sort of, barely there. Uh, but like I said, um, you do need to hold it for a couple seconds, which, mine didn't, like, my set didn't come with a manual, so I didn't know that. So I was panicking, Ashley was panicking, she's like, oh my god, did I get you this whole thing, it doesn't work. But, 
It does. Like I said, you just have to hold it. Same thing with turning it off. Uh, anyway, so when you put it in as well, it's got your standard uh, support. Uh, you slide it in through, through the squares into the slot and you tighten it to hold it into place. And then, like I had said, it's got the three different spots so you can put the microphone on the side. You could probably hook up more lights to it if you want. I don't know why you'd want to. Unless you have like super extended out lights and you're like, whoa. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, back to the conversation at hand. Um, it's actually got a decent amount of weight to it. Um, and they're LED lights, which you can't see, but I can. Ah. Actually, let's put it all the way down to the bottom and see if you can see it. Like, yeah, there you go. You can see it, the individual lights in there, which is good. I mean, it's, it's more energy efficient. Uh, the battery should last longer, and it's brighter because instead of just one bulb, it's a bunch of in individual bulbs. So that's always a win. Honestly, again, four out of five eggs. Um, just because, like I said, I, uh, the not knowing about the Oh, the sun's actually going away. I might have to hook that up. Not knowing about the um, holding the power button down. I look like a ghost. And then, like I said, if it was rechargeable, it'd be like four and a half eggs out of five. But overall, good piece of equipment. And then. And then, last but not least, we've got the microphone. All right, so, as a standard with like th these types of microphones, you've got your whole setup there, along with the wind boom, wind guard. The thing to muffle the wind. Uh, you know, if you've got the auxiliary cord that comes with it, plugs into the back, and this end goes into the phone. Now, the issue um, with this, obviously, with some of the more recent phones, looking at you iPhones, you don't have an auxiliary port. Uh, there are, however, uh, adapters available that you would put the auxiliary end into, and, it, and then it's got this, the C adapter, so that you could pop that into the bottom of the phone, where the headphones generally go on the iPhone, um, which this does not come with. But... Like you pick up at the dollar store, so, I mean, depending on how good the quality you're looking for, you don't have to look far. Um, uh, let's see, this one doesn't work with my camera, um, because my camera doesn't supply power through its headphone port. Um, the, the, the microphone that came with it is uh, rechargeable, has its own power source, like a battery inside, so... Um, it works with my camera, but overall, I'm not reviewing it for specifically my camera. Um, anyway, sound quality was actually pretty amazing. Um, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I was genuinely impressed with the sound quality for this little guy. Um, Here's the part where I plug it. If you'd like to, you know, check it out, you um, go check out Twilight Chapter 18 on my ASMR channel to hear the sound quality, um, which again was pretty pretty good. Uh, yeah. So I guess overall, because like I said, I'm not reviewing this for my video camera. I'm giving this like this little microphone uh, five eggs which actually is really good. Now, there is what... 
Now there is one more piece that came, like one more part that came with it that I didn't really showcase before because A, it didn't really overly matter much, but B, because I had misplaced it ever so slightly, which I found, uh, it's the remote. So the remote, like I said before, this thing is meant to be used with a phone. Um, it has two settings on it. Let's see if I can... Ay, ay, ay. Set up the background on it. Uh, there you go, you should be able to read it. So you've got two different settings. Uh, it connects to, to your the phone through Bluetooth. Uh, you've got the iOS. Ah, oh, this is not going well. <laughs> iOS and Android. Um, so like I said, it connects through Bluetooth. Uh, you can turn it on and off. Um, it's a bit finicky, I've found. Um, I think because it's designed so that the battery doesn't drain. If you don't press it for a couple minutes, it just stops. Like, it disconnects from the phone. So uh, I ended up having to click it a couple times to get it to, con to record. Um, but overall, it, like, it does work good, uh, pretty good. It comes with the battery. It's got, I don't know, it has like a soft protector on it. Um, but, like I said, overall, it did work. Which is really all you can ask of it. Um, so, you know, you go into the phone, you set it on whichever mode you want. Photo mode, video mode, time lapse mode. The sun's not making up its mind on its brightness level. Um, and then just click to shutter it. So, like, uh, overall, four and a half eggs out of five on the remote. Um, I did the half because, like I said, it does turn itself off, which on one hand does, you know, it cons conserves the battery and everything. On the other hand, it does make it slightly inconvenient when I, you know, stop recording and, uh, because some birds were going crazy outside, but it doesn't stop. Anyway, I digress. So that's the remote. Well, there you have it. There's the review on this little setup, which I'm going to show you with all the pieces on. Obviously, I've got the in the handheld mode right now. Take some selfies. Do some really close-up videos. Oh, I would never hold it that close. I mean, that was just for the sake of the video. So, now we do the overall rating of it. Um, so overall, out of five eggs, the iJoy Studio Vlogger gets four out of five eggs. Just because I said there, there are some features that could have been executed better, but overall, uh, it's, it's really good quality. Plus, you know, since it's off-brand, um, I know uh, <clears throat> we were talking about that in the Offbeats community. If you guys want to go check out the Offbeats, go check out the Offbeats. Um, so, you know, if you're looking for <clears throat> something a little cheaper... But without giving up the quality, you know, you, 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 want, you want to go off-brand. It's actually a really good little setup. Oh, so, uh, I don't know if I, I, don't remember if I mentioned it. So there you go, there, there's the setup where it does connect with the camera. Oh, look at that, you can even put the light on the side. Oh, of course you can, that's when you've got it in the upright mode. Anyway, that's more like TikTok and insta like selfies and stuff. But anyway, yeah. So four out of five. Um, so yeah, if you are looking for something that's not going to break your bank while still giving you everything you need uh, to record, possibly even stream. I'm not really sure. 
Like, I don't stream from mobile, so I don't really know as far as that goes. But I'm, I'm sure it'd be fine that way, too. Hmm. But I definitely recommend um, the iJoy Studio Vlogger for uh, when you're recording on the go. I did also get, like, a, a, a more tabletop setup, which, again, this is not. Um, so I'm going to be trying that at some point, too. Uh, I'll probably do a review for that. So, <clears throat> there we have it. Um, all right, I guess, yeah, that's the end of that. So, if you're watching this on my, my, my channel, Drake and Drains, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'm planning to definitely breathe new life into the channel. It's been a while. Um, if you're watching on the Nerds Without Consequences channel, again, feel free to subscribe and, you know, go check out the Drake and Drains channel. And, you know, you've got Phoenix Wizard or Two Real Productions. Um, uh, and I don't know yet. I don't think, I don't think Cthulhu's got one all set up yet for himself or if, but when he does get that set up, feel free to check that out. And, um... I'm going to put it in the description below. I'm also going to put our Discord. Well, I mean, my, my Discord, but it's where we all congregate. Uh, so feel free to join there. And, uh, yeah. If there's other things you'd like to see reviewed on the channel, feel free to comment below on on, on that. Uh, subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. Uh, you know, try and get that algorithm flowing for us. Uh, yeah. I guess that's it. So, for those of you on the Drake and Drains channel, so long, and thanks for all the fish. For those of you on the Nerds Without Consequences channel, keep nerding on.